Walt Disney Company chief executive Bob Chopek has been leading the Burbank entertainment giant since February 2020, taking the role just before the COVID-19 pandemic shattered its businesses. Since then the narratives around Chopek's tenure have largely been defined by people other than Chopek. The Indiana native and three-decade Disney veteran was judged less by what he was than what he was not, e.g., he was not his revered, charismatic predecessor, Bob Iger. He took the heat for a high-profile legal battle with Black Widow star Scarlett Johansson over box office bonuses. And most glaringly, he let himself get caught between employees who wanted him to speak out forcefully against Florida's parental rights in education bill, dubbed Don't Say Gay legislation by advocates, and conservative politicians and media figures who attacked him when he belatedly did so. But now, with the backing of Disney's board and a recent three-year contract extension, Chopek has an opportunity to turn to a new phase in his reign and close the books on those rocky early days. Chopek over the weekend hosted thousands of Disney fans at his first D23 Expo as CEO at the Anaheim Convention Center, where the company previewed a bevy of new movies and shows for Disney+, Plus, teased James Cameron's Avatar sequel and movies from Marvel Studios, Lucasfilm, Disney Animation, and Pixar. Much of the content is designed to boost Disney+, Plus, which has 152 million subscribers. I think what this represents now is a chance for me to speak for myself, rather than other folks speaking for me and trying to create an identity as to who I am," Chopek said in an interview at D23.